So the last reflex we'll talk about is the flexor or withdrawal reflex. So this one is initiated by a painful stimulus which causes the automatic withdrawal of that threatened body part from a stimulus. So this is where the sensory receptor in my hand senses pain or excess heat. Then a sensory neuron conducts that message, that afferent message, to the spinal cord integration center. We get an interneuron, and then it synapses with a motor neuron, which goes to the effector, which is the muscle, to contract and pull away from that source of pain. So our reflexes are totally involuntary and automatic, and we don't have to feel the pain, we don't have to perceive the pain for our reflex to occur. But while this is happening, another message is also sent up the spinal cord to the sensory cortex of the brain to sense and tell us we're in pain. So that's why sometimes we're able to pull away from painful stimulus before we actually perceive it. Because it's not until the message gets interpreted by our sensory cortex in our brain that the pain is felt.